Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to build an app in minutes with ChatGPT. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, for this particular video, I'll show you two apps that you can create or you can develop with the help of your chat GPT. And I'll make sure that I use 90% of the code from the chat GPT. And in case if I had to configure or in case if I had to customize that particular code, I'll make sure I do it as less as possible. For the IDE for this particular video, I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. So as we know from the previous videos that chat GPT is a tool or you can say is an interface that interacts with you in a conversational way. Whatever you write in its chat box, it will return you the answer as appropriate as possible. So for the first app that I'm going to create, I'll create it in HTML and JavaScript. So first of all, I'll write here, write a code for to do list app in JavaScript and HTML in separate files and hit enter. And here you can see it has started the process. And the good thing about this particular chat GPT is that even if you misspell anything in your query, it will still give you the right answer as appropriate as possible. So here, if you see here, we have some of the explanation that what is needed to be done and what we are going to get as an answer. And down here, here we have the HTML code for HTML file and here it has created a link between JavaScript file on its own as you can see in here as it says script source app.js and down here we have app.js file and this is our HTML code file. Now if you scroll down and here if you see here it is building everything for our to-do list app and it is also using JSON. Here we have render to-do list function down here it has added the event listener for the buttons as well. So now what you can do, you can simply copy that one into your editors and you are good to go and you can check if it is working or not. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do the same as I'll copy the HTML code. Let's head to our Visual Studio code. Here it is. This is my index.html file. I'll just paste the HTML code that I have copied from ChatGPT. Now let's head back and this time I'll copy my JavaScript code. And the name of the file is app.js. So it means, first of all, we need to create a file with the name of app.js. I'll hit enter. And in this file, I'll paste the code for JavaScript. And this is the code. Now, I'll just save this file. Let's save our index.html. And let's try to run this one. So for that, I'll go to my run. And I'll click on run without debugging. I have my Microsoft Edge as a default web browser for my HTML files. Now, here we have to-do list. What you need to do, you just need to add the items in this one. I'll write here, Apple, click on add. After that, I'll write here, orange, click on add. And after that, I'll add one more item. And this time I'll write here, dips. And either you can hit enter or you can click on this add button. Either way, it will work. Not only that, we also have delete button along with each item into our list. So if you click on any one of these, it will remove the item from the list as you can see. So you can see that how greatly this chat GPT have worked and it has given us the optimized code and it is working pretty fine. Yes, now in case if you want to add any new feature into that one, you can just ask your chat GPT to do so. So what I'll do here, I'll ask chat GPT to provide me the code for the same application, but this time I want it in one single file. So I'll write here, write the code for to-do list app in HTML and JavaScript in one single file. Hit enter. Now let's see how does it respond. Well, here it says show here's a sample code for simple to-do list app using JavaScript and HTML in a single file. So what it will do, it will merge the code from HTML and JavaScript and it will put it in one single file. Here we have HTML section of the code and down here, it will make sure to put the JavaScript code as well. So let's wait and let's see what do we get as a result. And here we had our HTML code and here we have our script started. It means the code for JavaScript has started from this particular area. If you scroll down, here you can see it has added the event listener on its own. 
So what I'll do here, I'll just copy this code and I'll paste it into my HTML file. I'll just save this file. Let's run it again. So here you can see again, it is working pretty fine and we do not have any problem. So you can delete everything from here as well. At last, I'll ask for the same query, but with a little bit of customization. This time I'll ask ChatGPT to provide me the code for the to-do list app, but only in HTML. So I'll write here, write the code for to-do list app only in HTML. I'll hit enter. And as I told you that even if you misspell something, it will take the right word on its own. Here you can see I have written to so and it has taken to do on its own. So you can see how clever this AI engine is. So let's wait for the code to get complete and then I'll just copy this code and I'll paste it into my HTML file and then we'll see how does it look like. So here we have the code. I'll just copy this one and I'll paste in my index.html file. Let's save this file and let's run this one. So I'll just run it. And here you can see we have to do list app and we have a button in here as well. So I'll just add a random item in here. And here, if you see, we have some of the items in here, but we do not have a delete button in here. So let's see how smart chat GPT is as I will ask you to add a delete button in the code. So I'll just copy this one and here I'll write, please add a delete button to delete items from list in the following code and let's see how does it responds i'll just paste the code that i have copied from my index.html file and i hit enter and here you can see it has started the process and it will add a delete button to our code so here it has defined a function for to-do list then it will add a delete button down here then we'll also have its event listener so let's wait and here we have our delete and here we have a function for delete items and here we have its event listener so let's just wait for it and then I'll just into the previous code and we'll see if it works or not. So I'll just copy this one and I'll just paste it at the end of it. Here it is. Let's just save this. Let's stop this and let's rerun it again. So I'll just run this one in here and let's add some items in here. And here you can see we have successfully added everything in here and we also have delete button available. So this was the first example for this particular video and now I'll create a game with the help of chat GPT and that is tic-tac-toe. So let me just close this one. I'll remove everything from here as well. And now let's head back to our chat GPT. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to write my query. So I'll write here, create a code for tic-tac-toe game in HTML only. And let's see what do we get. So here it has started the process and it is generating code. Here it has started to design the board. Then we have cells because we know that we have total nine cells in our tic-tac-toe game. So here it is designing the each cell and after that it is done with it. Now it will start creating the board with the help of table in HTML. So here we have everything in here. So let's wait for it and then we'll move ahead. And here it has started the script to handle the game logic. It means it will define who is the winner how moves will work and how the game will work because we also have to make sure that there is a winner at the end of the game so it will just do that in this particular section of the code and these are the moves that will be defined x and o after that it is checking for the win and it has done that with the help of a function so let's wait for it and let's see what do we get as a result so here we have each logic in here because we have total nine cells and it has taken everything in here so it will take every consideration that we can have or we might have because we know that how tic-tac-toe game works. So I think we are done with everything in here and now we just need to copy this code and then I'll just paste it into my index.html. Here it is. I'll just paste it. Now if I run this program, let's run it. And here if you see here we have our board and we can play our games in here. So I'll just make a move and now it's time for the second player to make its move. Let's do it again and this is the second player move. And here, as soon as the player one have won the game, it says Flare X wins. So I'll just click on OK. But here, if you see, there is some design issues with this particular code. And that is, we cannot separate each cell from other one. Or you can say, we do not have any border between each one of them. Let's go back to our code and let's see what we can do. Let me stop this process. And here we have our squares. So what I'll do here, I'll simply add a line as border. And here, what I'll do, I'll give the pixels or you can say, I'll give the weight to my borders. So I'll simply write here 1px, after that, solid, 
and here we can define the color i'll write here black and we are good to go i'll just save this let's rerun it and let's see how does it look like well now you can see we have more sophisticated outlook of our game now let's play it again and let's see how does it look like and here you can see player x has won again and there is one more thing and that is what if i want to reload this game so either I can reload this whole page or I can ask my chat GPT to add a button so that I can play the game again and again or I can do that on my own as well. But first of all, let's ask chat GPT if it can provide us with the button or not. So I'll just copy everything from here. And let's go back. Let me stop this one. I'll reload this one. And here I'll ask, please add a button to restart the game in the following code and let's see what do we get so i'll just paste the code down here let's hit enter and let's see what do we get and here it says you can simply add the following html code for the button below the div class board and here it is showing us the button and here it is also telling us that we can also add event listener for this particular button as well so let's see what do we get and then we'll see if we can add it or how we can add it or if there is any alternative way which is more simpler one and more sophisticated one. So we'll see about that. So here it is asking us to add this particular button into our div class board element. So I'll just copy it and I'll just paste it in here. After that, let's go back and here we have our constant restart button. So what I'll do here it is asking us and here it is asking us that we can add event listener to the button that will reset the game state when it gets clicked. To do this, we can add the following JavaScript code after the handle click function. So I'll just copy this one and here we have handle click function. So I'll just simply hit enter and I'll paste the code down here just like this one. So basically, this is the code that we have copied and I have added it in here and let's run it and let's see if it works or not. Well, here it is and it has not added a button in here. Well, why is that so? Well, let me go back. Okay, here we have to define our button or you can say we have to define the tag for our button. So chat GPT has mishandled this one. So I'll just do that. I'll just remove it. And at the end of it, I'll have my closing tag for my button. I'll just remove this one from here as well. We are done here for the opening tag and now we need to have its closing tag. So I'll just do the same in here. Let me do that from the end. And now I think we are good to go. Let me save this one. Let's stop this one and let's restart it again. And now we do have a restart game button on to our game. Let's play our game and let's see if it works or not. Yes, it does work in here. So I'll do the same and let's see if we can do that in middle of the game. So I'll just do that and yes, it is working. But the question is, is there is any simpler way to do this? Yes, there is. What I'll do, I'll just remove everything that I have done or you can say I have copied in terms of adding a button and then I'll get back to you. This is the original code that we had earlier and now what I'll do, I'll just simply add a button and in that button I'll create a link and for the link I'll just add the link for the same page so that whenever that button gets clicked, same page gets reloaded. So simply I'll create a button first and after that inside my button what I'll do I'll create href link. So inside that I'll write here a space or I'll just close this one and inside my a tag I'll write here href. Here I'll name my page which is index.html and here we can write anything for our button or for our link. I'll write here click here to reload the game. Now let's save this one and now let's run our program or you can say our HTML file. And here we have our tic-tac-toe game and here we have our button. Let's play it and let's reload it or you can say let's click on it. Yes, it has reloaded the game for us. Let's click on it again and let's complete the game for this time. And yes, player X won. Now let's click on it. Okay, there is obviously a difference between my approach and the approach that was given by ChatGPT. In my approach, it is completely reloading the game as reloading the page, but ChatGPT gave me the logic that will only reset the game without reloading the page. Obviously, the one from the ChatGPT was more sophisticated. But the only thing that I wanted to show you that how you can modify the code that is given from the ChatGPT. 
and this is how you can create different apps with the help of chat gpt and you can see that how minimal effort was required from my side or you can say from your own side that you might need to put in order to complete your games as i have told you earlier that more than 90 percent code will be given to you by chat gpt but the only final touches might be required from you because let's say if you want to create an app for the android application you might have to define different files you might have to import different resources you might have to add different pngs or different images that your file might require but the main logic can be given from the chat gpt for example let's say you want to create an application that gives you weather indication or weather update so you can write here create an application for weather updates in js or javascript hit enter it will surely give you some code but obviously there will be some things that you need to edit in this particular code for example for example in terms of weather api you can include your own one then you can edit this particular code or you can also make sure to have your own customized interface other than the one given by your chat gpt so here you can see it is giving everything to us here it is explaining everything and then after that it will start to give you code as well so it has started to do that in jquery and react js here it says you can use library like jquery or react to create ui to bind the data to ui elements so it's all up to you that how do you want to go and here is the api for the weather so you can use the one from the google as well at the moment it is using from the open weather map so it's all up to you that how you want to do and how much customization you want to have in your code that you get from chat gpt but i hope now that now you have an idea that how you can create different apps with the help of chat gpt and how much effort does it require from yourself in order to customize it and i hope now that you must have liked and loved watching this one and if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon and i'll get back to you in the next video and if you have anything to ask and if you want to suggest us something please leave a comment below i'll get back to you and stay with us as we are going to have more and more videos on chat gpt so i'll see you in the next video till then take care